Hey friends, um, I know it's been a while since I've done my last video, but um, and uh, I know I said I'd uh, share doing the uh, huskies with you, but um, I got too caught up in, in the excitement of doing them that I, when I while I was doing the uh, huskies, I uh, forgot to record them and stuff like that and I will admit that um, seeing the, the my first couple of saws they did get a little bit stressful but I'm you know um, getting there with with them and um, I will uh, try and um, film the rest and I suppose once I have all of the parts for at least one of the saws for the sake of having it on video of and for the sake of um, showing you tearing it down and then putting it back together I can I will most definitely do that but um, I'm waiting till I have all of the parts for it um, so that I can um, so I can have a complete running saw um, from stripped down to putting it back together I mean it's running now but um, what I mean what I mean by a running saw is um, a bar and chain and having it oiling and everything you need to um, cut wood but um, Getting down to today's video though, um, I am working on um, making axe handles for some axes and I will see if I can find where the heads are. And I'll show you a one of my axe heads. I'll turn the camera off and I'll find an axe head and I'll be right back. Right friends, I found the axe heads. Um, so that's one. Don't really know what brand that is. Someone on the in the comments section will pro will hopefully tell me. Um, and the other side, and because I know you guys love seeing the eyes of the X heads, there's the eye. Uh, Hopefully it's going to show you properly. There's the other logo if you can see it. If you can't, I apologize. Um, there's another axe head. Two, two bigger ones and three smaller ones. That's one of the small ones. That's another small one. Now, I can't... Uh, 
actually yes this one had a fiberglass handle or carbon fiber or whatever um, I'm not the type of person that likes fiberglass handles for axes and such so I am working on making some uh, wooden handles so um, and I have one that I have a bigger axe handle that I worked on um, over a series of months and after thinking about it long and hard I actually found a way to be able to do it um, reasonably quickly because um, I have a belt sander um, let's see if we can find it it is right there let's instead of zooming in let's go have a closer look at the belt sander and we'll zoom out completely and we'll So there's my belt, there's my sander, it's a little combo sander, it's got a belt and disc and when you guys see how I'm doing my axes I'll probably get yelled at because in the comments section because uh, you guys will notice that you'll you have to realize that I am new at making axe handles I'm not new to wood woodworking in particular but I'm new at making the axe handles in particular so you'll have to excuse the lack of woodworking skills in that area but for now I'm just um, using my square and a pencil to put lines more or less all around this handle and um, Like I said, I'll probably get yelled at in the comment section for doing it the wrong way, but there you go. And friends, I do apologize for not being as proficient as some more experienced woodworkers, but... can only do what I can do with what I've got and I am I am actually slowly working on
um, getting some more tools um, and because chainsawing and stuff like that is in, and stuff like that is included in this um, Because it's Chad Henwood's woodworking, um, chainsawing, and model boat, model power boat racing. Um, not all of it actually fit in the where I could write that column, so I shortened it. Um, When you watch the videos, you'll obviously see my name. Um, some of you probably tell me off for having such a long name because it's. But you know what? I like the name that I've got for my for my um, channel, so. You love me, you hate me, either way, I'll make videos when I can. Um, because I do forget, um, I won't, I know I won't be a weekly or daily uh, YouTuber, but I will provide videos when I, when I remember and when I have the time and stuff like that, so... I apologize for all of that in advance. Advance. Some of my, or lots of my inspiration that I get for woodworking comes from um, Sam from DIY Huntress, Tamar from uh, 3x3 Customs. If you're a woodworker watching this, I advise you to check out um, 3x3 Customs and DIY Huntress and um, DIY Danny because the three of them are really good friends and I like watching all of their content, especially when Sam and either one of those two girls um, do something, do projects together, and at some stage I do hope that Sam and uh, Tamar actually get together and do a video together because that would be really great. Um, but for now, back to putting lines on the sum. on these handles. Um, I will do the rest of that off camera and I'll do um, the sanding of at least one of these handles on camera so you guys can yell at me in, in the comments section and tell me if I'm doing something wrong and what I'm doing wrong and um, but like I say I can only do what I can with the tools I've got and I don't have the proper hafting tools like um, I have a spoke shave but I'm not very good at using it and it's 
fairly old and I have trouble uh, using it because I don't know how to use it and uh, some of the trouble that, that I'm having with using it probably comes with how old it is and you know it's probably blunt and I have no idea how the, how I am supposed to sharpen it so any advice on sharpening a spoke shave I'll show you my spoke shave it was my grandfather's it's one of those old wooden ones looks pretty cool well I think it does anyway um, well I'll I'll finish I'll finish this one off on video and I'll turn the camera off and do the rest off camera and I'll get back to you um, I'll I'll get back to you when I'm ready for more sanding. Um I, uh, I do hope that um, Buck and Billy Ray um, ends up finding this video at some stage because Buck and I'd love your input on on uh, how to on how to halved without a spoke shave or without a um, draw knife because I do not have a draw knife I would like one um, I'm gonna be getting one at some stage um, so yeah but as I said I'm gonna finish drawing the lines on the rest of the of these handles off camera um, I'll show you that I have done two so far um, I did the first one then I realized I should be doing it on camera so I grabbed the camera and here we are we'll be back for the back for the sanding friends
should be putting a line around all of them so that I don't go too far in sand where I'm supposed to be hopping. Take this stuff off so you can hear me talk properly. No point talking if you can't, if your voice is going to be muffled or obstructed by something, eh? Well, there you have it. I, I don't know how much of the sanding you saw or how much of my head you saw. Um, if you saw more of my head than you did of the sanding, I do apologize. Um, but I did my best to not have a big head. <laughs> um, no, I, um, I have obviously done a steeper angle on one side than I have on the other.
Um, I think I'll fix that. Let's do it, friends. bit better. Not by much. The rest of the sanding will be done with this little orbital sander. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, I've, um, but if you like, I will do it on on camera if you if you'd like to see me do one on camera leave it in the comments and until then we'll see you on the next one